Right now on 11 at 11, two tri-state killers facing their fates. One of them is set to be executed in just a few hours. The other will soon learn if he will live or die. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We have in-depth coverage on both of these cases. Let's begin with the man who is set to die tomorrow morning. Robert Van Hook is currently at the state death house in Lucasville, Ohio. The 58 year old is scheduled to die for killing David Self in Cincinnati back in 1985. Prosecutors say Van Hook made a practice of luring gay men to apartments to rob them. He has no remaining appeals. The state parole board and Governor John Kasich rejected his request for clemency. Nine on your side's Ashley Zilka has brand new information about Van Hook's last hours alive and his requests. Ashley. Tanya and Craig, a prison spokesperson, says Robert Van Hook is in good spirits and calm hours before his execution. He ordered for his last meal double cheeseburgers, fries, strawberry cheesecake, and grapefruit juice. Tonight, we spoke with prosecutor Joe Dieters about Van Hook's crimes, but we also heard from a group of people praying for him. He's a no good SOB and he should be executed. Robert Van Hook's execution Wednesday will be the state's first in months. He was sentenced to die for murdering David Self after picking him up at a bar in Cincinnati in 1985. This was his business model. He was going to gay bars, finding vulnerable gay men, going back to their apartments with them, acting as if he's gay and robbing them. But on February 18th, 1985, Self did not have any money, so Van Hook killed him. He strangled him to unconsciousness. He took a knife and stuck it in the back of his brain and twisted it. Then he literally gutted him, opened him up. I mean, the liver was visible. Uh, he left uh, bottle in his body cavity, a cigarette bud. We spoke with Van Hook on death row years ago. Back then, he admitted he filed his appeals not because he is innocent, just because he can. It's about delaying and buying as much time as you can and trying to stay alive and survive for as long as you can. Van Hook's attempts will now come to an end. On the eve of his execution, the Inner Community Justice and Peace Center held a prayer vigil for both Van Hook and Self. Van Hook chose the song and prayers. Someone has taken a life. We also don't believe that taking another life will um, in any way change the fact that a life has already been taken. The group has been going to every execution in Ohio since 1999. Our stance is really to stand in abolition of a, a system that is not fair and not justly uh, used across the state. The reality is Ohioans want justice and sometimes Justice is eliminating that person. Van Hook's attorneys argued he experienced PTSD from an abusive childhood. Van Hook will be executed by lethal injection tomorrow at 10 a.m. Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.